First Donald Trump scheduled his kickoff rally in Tulsa, the site of the Tulsa race massacre. Then he scheduled it on Juneteenth, just to stick it to black people. Then he scheduled his convention speech in Jacksonville on the anniversary of the KKK massacre in the city. Now Trump is sticking it to the LGBT community by eliminating patient protections, and he's doing it on the anniversary of the Orlando Pride Massacre, during Pride Month no less. None of this can possibly be a coincidence. Donald Trump and or his handlers are doing this on purpose. The question, of course, is why? Yes, they're evil, and that explains a lot, but Trump is way behind in the election with less than five months to go. Every time he tries yet another divisive stunt like this, his numbers drop even further, because more people in the middle finally decide he's gone too far. This isn't a valid strategy. More to the point, anyone with even basic cognitive abilities understands that this isn't a valid strategy. So what's really going on here? Two possibilities come to mind. The first is that Trump has concluded he's going to lose, so he's just trying to offend and alienate as many people as possible on his way down. The second is that Trump has become too senile to have any idea what's even going on, and his handlers have decided that he's going to lose, so they're merely carrying out their own deranged agendas while they still can. In any case, with the Trump regime making uglier moves by the day, it's more important than ever that we vote Donald Trump out in record-setting numbers in November. And in the meantime, we'll all have to be activists in the name of protecting the groups that Trump is targeting with his increasingly evil agenda.